Welcome back guys, I'm Falygon. We're working on D.Va still, and uh, we're probably going to be for a little while longer. So, we're just going to be making some overall large form changes. That's, that was the, the intention, promise, that was, that was made for this episode. I don't know how much we'll do, but we'll try to do as much as we can. So I'm just going to try to lengthen the neck a tad, a tidbit as well as adjust some other shapes that we got going on here. I would like to uh, pull out the neck just a tad, as well as maybe bring up that pinch a little bit into there. It doesn't have to be. Um, whoa, we are accidentally. So if you guys don't know, uh, most brushes have an alternate version of them by uh, holding the Alt key. And uh, Smooth actually has an alternate version of itself where it unsmooths stuff. So holding Shift and Alt, you can get some freaking just janky geometry. And that is just awesome. There we go, guys. Diva's done. <laughs> now, uh, I've never really found a great purpose for that. Uh, maybe if you want to do some like quick little rough texturing, uh, you, really, there's better brushes for that. But uh, maybe maybe you guys have found a purpose for that. If you have, let me know down in the, the comments. But for me personally, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I I just stick to the normal normal and alternate smoothing methods. Not using that alt brush too often. Give that a quick smooth. And uh, I am not going to merge the neck into the head uh, until probably the very very end. I like to keep those separated. Keep them separated. And we can uh, adjust shapes of everything else we got going on here. Making sure that you've got some references up. And uh, you can kind of go from here. Chin's looking pretty blocky. So I think we should adjust that. I'm sure you guys have noticed that. I have as well. But it's, uh, it's a good idea to let stuff kind of really sink in there. It's getting really tight, so you can adjust it from multiple angles. And while stuff sinks in and you're kind of letting, letting these ugly forms fester, you can work and adjust other stuff on your mesh. I'm just using a quick trim brush there. And our jaw is quite far back. So let's see what we can do about that. Uh, I'll try a transpose tool and just kind of try to pull that in. And from the side, that's looking a bit better. Let me turn off perspective for a sec. It's looking better, but it is not uh, exactly how we want from the front. So, you know, as you make changes in one area, it can start to affect the, the rest of your character quite drastically. So just be aware of that. Looking at uh, a, kind of a three quarter view right here, you can try to figure out what the shape of of stuff is looking at as well. Turning on perspective is super helpful. Uh, man, 3D's tough. Making stuff look good from so many angles, aka every angle imaginable, uh, it can be it can be tough. So make sure you kind of have the patience and take the time to to do that. It doesn't have to be, uh, you know, not everything. Gosh, 3D is just it. It takes a long time, guys. Is what I'm trying to say. Um, <laughs> it's it's hard. It's real hard. And I'm not I'm not super great at it. At least I don't think so. Uh, but I try, and I try to put a lot of time in here, uh, and I try to create some stuff that you guys can hopefully at least learn and pick up a few things, few tips, tricks of the trade from. But uh, you know, I definitely learn new stuff every day when I'm sculpting. And that's kind of my, my, uh, I don't know, 
whole motto message. I don't, I don't know. Uh, keep practicing every day because you, you really, it, it, it takes a lot and a lot of work, a lot of practice. You'll get there eventually. Um, really, once you get your foot in the door, I wouldn't say that it's downhill from there, but uh, once you have an opportunity, it's it's a lot easier. <laughs> doing uh, work like this day in, day out, and never being recognized for it can be tough, and I've been there before myself, so don't, uh, don't give up hope, guys. Just don't give up. You can, uh, you can do it. You will get where you need to go eventually and where you want to go. But again, like working on a character here, even one little sculpt takes time and the more time I can guarantee that you do put in the better and faster you will get so if you're following along right now and you're like he keeps complaining about how slow he's working and he's being a douche I am working ten times slower than him and I can't keep up with all the stuff he's doing uh, <laughs> I'm sorry that is not that is not my intention um, I'm just, you know, I, I do try to work fast, um, and I have been doing this for longer than uh, a good amount of people, longer than I think most people that follow me and hang out here and ask questions, so don't feel like just because you can't keep up and follow along with what I'm doing that you need to, uh, feel, feel down and down and bad. Shit's tough. So I am adjusting overall facial proportions. We got some floaty ears. Floaty ears are the best kind of ears. We're just gonna keep them because they're just so, so freaking beautiful. We'll keep them to the very end. In all truth, uh, we will most likely just delete our ears because we are gonna have hair and headphones. Uh, I, I would like to create the headphones. Be cool to do some hard surfacey stuff. Uh, maybe we'll just do kind of the basic shape of the headphones. We don't have to go super crazy with them, but I would like to do a little bit, at least get them in there. And uh, you know, you probably won't be able to see the ears with with ear earphones, headphones. What are they called? Earmuffs? They're not earmuffs. Let's go with headphones. That's that sounds right. I know English. I swear. <laughs> Uh, once we do that, the ears won't really even matter. But let's push them in, get them there. Turn on our perspective. Our jaw's looking a bit better. Not great though. That's okay. We'll get there. Pinch it in. Pinch it off, as they say. Cause you know, this, I guess, I guess this would be pinching on and this would be pinching off. That's a technical term, I'm pretty sure. Technical ZBrush term. Um, these lips. Guys, these lips. I don't like these lips. What do we do about these lips? Let's mess with these lips. What do we want to do? I, uh, I'm scared to push them together. Because I'm a big dummy, and last time I pushed them together, I dynameshed the face when I wasn't paying attention, and uh, had to redo the lips. So let's be a big dummy and push them back together. Okay, all right, sounds good. Sounds like a great idea. Let's uh, move vacuum curve. Get a little bit of a point there, a little bit of a crease. Soften that uh, mask. Yes. Move down, and I think uh, I think this whole section's a little bit long. I think the nose needs to come down, and uh, just some proportions of the overall character need to be adjusted. Let me look here. So let's get a little more poof on that bottom lip 
and also shrink the distance between, um, let's subdivide here, of just this overall. You know, it's too close to a, a realistic head in terms of proportions. I think we wanna, wanna get this, get some style in here, right? Let's do that. Just kind of shrinking that overall. Things are looking pretty, whoa. Things are looking pretty sharp in terms of shape language for the jaw, for here on the cheekbones. I'm wondering if I can just quickly adjust that. What I would like to do is get some more roundness in here very quickly, but stuff can be difficult to get it exactly as you desire. But uh, as you can see there already very quickly, we can start to get a little, whoa, didn't mean to pull that out, a little bit more roundness in there. Uh, being careful not to completely destroy our hard work on our eyelid. But uh, just adding that roundness to the face, you can see that it starts to become uh, more feminine. And the nose and the brow, all that's looking pretty hard. Said I would keep that in there, but let's, uh, let's kind of adjust that a little bit. So now we can kind of start to see that roundness really coming through. I would like to uh, maybe move this back. It looks like looks like it's a bit too too uh, it's forward jousting. Gosh, man, I don't I don't know I don't know all the words. It's jutting forward too far. So let's adjust it. And let's adjust that lip, smooth it out, pull it up in the corners, try to turn that frown upside down, uh, pull down the middle portion a little bit. It's got to have that bow shape like I was talking about so many episodes previous. And uh, can start to get some of these shapes in there. Lips are one of the things that I struggle with a lot, so I like to spend a lot of time on the lips, rework them, uh, do a bunch of stuff. Uh, like around here, this is looking pretty, pretty dirty. But uh, you know what? We'll get all of it there. It just takes takes time. But uh, you know what? It is starting to look better though. Uh, starting to look better to me. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know how uh, androgynous Diva looks in the comments below. Type uh, type boy with a number next to it uh, on a scale of one to ten. How how much boy does this look? How boy how boy does our Diva look? Let's go with mm, eight. Looks looks like about an eight on the scale. We'll we'll slide that down. We'll get closer to girl. Take some long hair and some other stuff, but we will get there, I promise. Uh, looking at just, man, like I said, general changes in this one, huh? Uh, a lot of them. Just being able to take a new, fresh look at everything that's happening uh, can be very, very helpful. Again, the screenshots, which I have not done yet, but uh, I did step away for a little bit here so I could kind of come back with fresh eyes and that is very, very helpful for me. Getting that roundness of the head there as well as the back of the skull, which we lost some of that upon moving earlier. But I think we got that back now. And uh, with that, I think that's gonna be good for this episode. And uh, we'll continue making changes in the next one. So I will see you guys then.